Oh, thank you, Caitlin. Oh, this is a little tag, Caitlin, that lets people know that um, I'm not going to take a blood transfusion. Well, a blood transfusion is when someone who's maybe sick takes blood from another person. Well, sometimes doctors, when someone is very sick or is in an accident and they lose a lot of their own blood, feel that if they take someone else's blood, that it can save their lives. Then why would you want blood in your body to get better? Well, I certainly would want to get better. But, you know, Caitlin, just because doctors say that a blood transfusion will save your life, it doesn't always happen that way. That's not really the reason Aunt Mary won't take a blood transfusion. Let's see if I can explain it to you. Um, do you know who the smartest person in the world is, Caitlin? If my mom tells me that God is the smartest person in the world. And your mom is very right. And Caitlin, do you think that God would ask us to do something that would ask us not to do something that would hurt us? No. No, not at all. So what we're going to do is I have my Bible here with me, and I'm going to show you what God says about blood. I'm going to have you read the scripture, since I know you're such a good reader, in the book of Genesis. And it's going to talk about someone that you may know. Do you remember who the man Noah was? Yeah, it was, it was fun. He felt the God because it was going to be a fun. That's right. And we know that Jehovah saved Noah. So we're going to read the instructions that Jehovah gave Noah after he saved him from the flood. So why don't you read Genesis chapter 9, and why don't you read verses 3 and 4, Caitlin? And then you know that everyone is as Okay, so here are the instructions to know where to work. But what did Jehovah tell him he couldn't eat? The animals. Yes, the animals, like we eat um, food from animals today. But what did Jehovah tell him he could not eat? The blood. The blood. That's right, he was not to eat it at all. But is that the only time Jehovah told man not to eat or take blood? Well, it wasn't, because thousands of years later, Jehovah tells us the same thing. And I'm going to read you that scripture, okay? It's in the book of Acts, chapter 15, and verse 29. Now, blood is something that is very sacred or important to Jehovah. And later on, we'll explain that when we get a little older. But let's see what Jehovah now tells mankind again. Okay, it's Acts chapter 15, verse 29. It says, to keep abstaining from being sacrificed to idols and from blood. Now that word abstaining is a big word, Caitlin. Do you know what that means? Well, it means to keep away from. Now, if mommy were to tell you to keep away from something, do you think she would only mean that you could not eat it? No, I don't eat it. Yes, don't even touch it. So, that a long time ago, Jehovah told Noah he could not eat it, and then he told us we were to abstain from it, not even to take it, so we wouldn't want to take it into our bodies. And you know, Caitlin, earlier when we were talking, you told me, and you agreed, that Jehovah is the smartest person in the world, and if he cares for us very, very much, so he would never ask us to do something that would hurt us, even though sometimes doctors or people tell us it would be good for us, if Jehovah says it's not, then we don't want to do it. And that's why the Miriam and many Jehovah's Witnesses carry this, to let people know that they are going to obey Jehovah's law. Do you think that that's a good idea? Yes, I do. Well, that's good. And you know, since we mentioned that uh, account of Noah, you want to take a few minutes and we can read from the Bible story book that account again? Mm -hmm. Okay. 